Hi guys, it's Lohi and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm drawing a mermaid picture, which I also did one last year too, so that's why I wanted to do another one this year. It's kind of like mermaid challenge is probably one of the challenges that I actually think is kind of interesting or, you know, at least nice to do. Uh, I know there's like uh, mermaid prompts and whatever, but I just decided to do uh, one illustration because I did only one illustration last year too. So it's kind of like, you know, continuing the tradition, I guess. Now, I know that it's technically, well, it's not even technically not May, it's really not May anymore, but I had a little bit of technical issues. Um, my pen broke in the middle of drawing this. Um, woke up in the morning, you know, went to the fridge to get something to drink, and then I, you know, look at the water bowl, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna fill the refill the water bowl for you know my pets of course duh and I look at it and I'm just like oh my god no my pen was there I was just like no it was completely dead um, I put it in a rice for like four days it came back to life and I was able to draw with it a little bit but it was still just too too hard to work with it was constantly um like it would either draw on its own when i was hovering it or it would not draw at all and it just kind of kept switching between the two which was super annoying if i tried to get anything done and it also caused a lot of uh, problems with recording because the pen gets breaking down all the time which meant that i had to like uh, stop recording, then start recording, then stop recording. So there's some parts that I didn't record because, you know, I thought I had the recording turned on, but then I didn't, and you know, it was it was a full-blown mess. Ended up ordering a new pen, and I got it, and I was happy. And then I was able to finish the drawing, but yes, it took like... Um, it was supposed to, it was supposed to be done like a week ago but I pretty much had the whole week just not um, been able to do much so there there was like an empty week I would sort of try to draw but I would honestly like I could only make like two strokes with a pen and then it would break and then I was just like oh my fucking god and I had to mess around with that. And yay. Uh, the one who broke my pen was, of course, my dear cat. I don't know why he took it there. Like, he has this weird habit where if he has, like, toys, he likes to drown them in the water bowl. It's just something he does. But he's never taken interest in my pen, so I didn't really expect that to happen now i know better of course you know now i know to you know not to leave my pen just you know casually on the table or you know that one will be broken too but you know that's that's what you get i guess gotta gonna learn from you know mistakes from very expensive mistakes that cost me 80 dollars which is ironic because I got like uh, piercings on my ear last month and uh, they cost like $80 <laughs> well 80 euros actually we get we use euros here okay but you know about the same amount anyway and I got them because I had my birthday at the end of April so I was just like you know what I deserve to buy myself something nice since it's been my birthday and all and I hadn't wasted any money for a long time like I had been pretty strict on like you know not spend on anything extra so I'm just like I deserve this much and then I was just thinking myself after I got the piercing so I'm just like I just hope to god nothing 
happen so that you know I'm gonna need this twin this eighty dollars that I just spent on these piercings. Of course that fucking happened <laughs> because I cannot have nice things. And it's just like I'm trying to have something nice for myself. I mean very a very responsible adult for a few months and you know I've been saving money and the $80 is like the extra okay it's not gonna make me poor but it's just like I won't have like if I get an extra bill I'm essentially fucked and I'm just like I've taken care of my business so well these few past months so I deserve this nice thing and then the life is like nah nah no! <laughs> and I'm just like, why? I hate life. Just every time I have nice things, it kind of has to prove me wrong. Like, nope. But yeah, I got a new new pen. Everything's fine. Everything's expensive in life. <laughs> but that's about it. And uh, on the other hand, uh, I did like working on this picture surprise it was like I really wanted to do this because well like I said I did the one last year too but I really wanted to see how much of a different vision I could have this year because I feel like this year specifically my style overall has changed quite a lot so I think you see the most change now uh, compared to like year or two ago than between like previous year and the year before that so I think that this year has been really sort of year of change for me so that's why I wanted to do this uh, and um, yeah I'm pretty happy with the result it's a lot simpler than the last year like last year I did like this big illustration with like you know, two characters and very detailed background. This year I didn't, but I focused more on the colors on this one, which I think was honestly a good choice. And I really like the color combination of like the salmon pink and like the green and white. I just think it's so good. But overall, um, like if I look at the previous mermaid picture that I did it's not bad and it's okay but it has the issue that despite the fact that it's an underwater the colors don't really reflect that there's not like the sort of um, like the colors have to change to accommodate the environment but they don't and that's kind of the mistakes or that's kind of um, one of the things that I used to be very bad at, which was, well, you know, accommodating the colors, you know, with the environment, or like if it's night, uh, I couldn't, I wasn't really able to create a palette that was good for the night, night time, or, you know, if you got like fire and the skin color changes, essentially like every color changes depending on which color it's paired with and I just wasn't really able to do that back in the day or at least I wasn't very confident on doing that I tried sometimes and sometimes it turned out better sometimes it turned out worse uh, but this year especially since I've changed my coloring style overall it has become uh, very easy for me to accommodate the colors and you know work with different kinds of colors I don't know it just really flows better for me like this so I like it and uh, yeah so I think in in that sense this one is a lot better it has nice mood to it, it despite the fact that it's not very big illustration with like a huge background and yada 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 whatever but I did do a big illustration like last month, so I think I'm covered, you know, it's okay to do something a little bit smaller just after doing something a little bit bigger and I'm not really sure what to do after this one, um, but I'm feeling good. Uh, I feel like I'm actually starting to pick up a lot of things and 
learn and yeah, essentially learn. <laughs> so um, yeah, it, I just this always happens to me. I just end up like um yeah, sorry, and then I'm not even gonna edit them out because why would I? <laughs> But yes, uh, this year I have a good feeling, at least towards my art. I feel like it's looking a lot more like I want it to look like, and I feel like it reflects me in a sense. Uh, I'm not so lost about it anymore. Like last year, I used to be super lost. Like, I don't, of course, know how other people view my art. And you know, to some people, my art was super probably good, or you know, they are like, there's nothing wrong. But when I look at the works that I did last year, I had like no confidence on anything I did. And despite the fact that some of the works would turn out okay, they never turn out the way I wanted. I'm just like, there's something always missing. And now I feel like I finally found the missing thing. And I can actually start progressing forward that, you know, now that I've uh, been able to overcome the barrier that I had, I can start practicing other things, which is of course, you know, um, for this one I really focused on, you know, light and shadow and, well, mostly light and just, you know, colors and all that kind of stuff. But I really want to focus on them a little bit more because that's another flaw that I know exists in my works, is that I don't really do radical shading. I've been trying to do it a lot more in my recent works, but um, it's been like, if you look at the works I've done in the past, it's very obvious that I'm not very good at those things. So I'm also gonna try to learn that a lot more, then focus on the obvious things like anatomy, uh, though that usually tends to go pretty well on the side. There's probably gonna be a point where I'm actually gonna like really really focus on anatomy, but anatomy, anatomy. But you know, for the time being, I still think that what I need right now is to focus a little bit more on the like shading and coloring and just you know the atmosphere overall. And probably gonna do some animals, hopefully more. Uh, I really want to do those. I'm trying to like incorporate. Um, animals more casually into my works now, like to turtle, yay! Because, well, I don't draw a lot of animals and I know it's it's uh, kind of shameful that I've been drawing for years and I still don't know how to draw animals, you know, it's just not very, uh, it's not something I'm very proud of, but I think I can pick it up pretty fast after I start learning. I do have the basics down. Well, like, in theory, not in skill, but in theory, I I at least know where to start practicing, so. I think I'm on the good start here. Um, the picture is actually almost ready. I hope you didn't mind this ramble. Uh, I'm gonna try to be more active. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you have a nice day, and bye-bye! Uh,